Hey, what's up everybody? Luke here. So today we're going to be working on a fun project in the back of my truck. So if you haven't seen it in any of my prior videos, I built a bike slide uh, to contain my bikes in the back of my truck. Uh, so when I go on road trips, it can be concealed, you know, away from weather and people and whatever else, and also have it lockable. So I'll kind of show you that right here. Um, it's in the bed of my truck. And here, let me let me pull it out quick. It's pretty pretty cool. So with this slide, you can see I have the Rocky mounts with the lockable fork mount on here. Uh, it slides out, and yeah, it just fits in my bed perfectly. Um, and I'll probably do a little bit more video on that with the bikes in there. But today, what I'm going to be doing is building a, another slide on the left side of my truck. So uh, hopefully you stick around and I'll kind of do some details on how I'm going to do that. And hopefully, you know, if you want to do something like this in your truck, it gives you some ease of uh, peace of mind on how to do it. So if you like this uh, kind of content, let me know. I'll continue doing it. And if not... That's fine. I still like to kind of post it because honestly, when I was looking on how to do this, it was hard to find it for myself. So it's like, well, people probably do you want to see this. So I'm going to post it myself and hopefully it's valuable. So enjoy the video and stay tuned for more. All right. So we're in the garage here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little bit of the materials that I'm going to be using. And I'll kind of lay it out on the ground here for you. But uh, first of all, I bought some slotted angle iron. It's about 70 inches long or something like that, 67 inches long, which is just shy of the, the bed of the truck. I wanted it to be a little bit longer so it could be a little bit more sturdier. And then as you can see, I have some pretty heavy duty <laughs> slides right here. Uh, these are actually bigger than the ones that I have in the bike slide because I, you know, this, this slide's gonna carry the cooler and other supplies and I think it actually might end up being heavier than the mountain bikes themselves. So I uh, got a little bit of a longer heavier duty slide. I think it holds up to like 500 pounds. Um, so again I got my slotted angle iron, heavy duty slides. Uh, over here on the table I got my riv nut. I guess it's a gun but it's not really a gun. I don't know what you actually call it. Riv nut tool. There you go. I'm going to be using some M8 riv nuts with some uh, flat bolts here. I'm just going to be <laughs> putting it right into the bed of the truck. Kind of made this diagram here so you could see, but essentially think of this being in the bed of the truck. I'm going to drill the riv nut into it. I'm going to cinch it in and tighten it up and then and then mount it with this bolt. And that's what I'm going to do. And then from there I should have room to mount the drawer slides onto it. So little of the things that I need is just the riv nut tool, a drill, uh, a little bit of hope that I don't drill into my gas tank, uh, some nuts and some bolts, and uh, slotted angle iron, and uh, that's all you really need. So anyways, stay tuned, and I'm gonna be getting into it. All right, so I just started the video, or started, started working on this. Um, I actually just did some pre-drilling on some, uh, you know, kind of pilot holes for this, but I realized, you know, there's not a lot of room standing up in here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a video of me setting up the tent here, just so everyone can kind of see how easy that is. Uh, I figured I'd get a shot of it, but uh, yeah, let me do that. Alright, so once that's done, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to raise this floor in here. So, the way that you do that is you grab this here, you can lift that up, and then I'm just going to take this floor, I'm going to throw it this way, and then I'm going to add some light here. 
So, I moved the floor, I've uh, opened up the shades, and look at this, now I got so much room in here I can stand up, got the nice, I mean, heck, there's like 10 feet of room here, so, got a little bit more light coming in, which is nice, and now I'm going to keep on working on the floor, so, stay tuned. Alright, so, got my pilot holes in, I got the bigger drill bit out, so, Pretty much what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be drilling this out so that the rib nut can fit inside. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just take a quick little shots of me doing this and, and fitting that in there. And then we'll go from there. I'll show you how to use the, the rib tool. So first hole of many is done, um, and didn't run into anything, but I have the riv nut right here, and pretty much just going to pop it right in there. I'm not going to show you how to use the riv nut tool, just because I'll link actually a video below that I watched that was super inform uh, informational, but basically what happens is uh, these riv nuts, you can see they have these little... Um, I don't know what you want to call it, little rivets. <laughs> and it basically, you use the tool to lock the rib nut in place, and it does it by like smushing it upwards. And so I know it kind of sounds stupid and not really informational, but you know what? I'm going to show a link below of a video I watched that was really nice and taught me how to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these holes and uh, get these in there. So, as you can see, I have the rib nuts in, three of them, one, two, three, and essentially what I've done is I've added a place where I can screw in bolts, and that's how I'm going to bolt in the angle iron here. So, I'm going to do that quick, and you can see the video of this, me doing that. Alright, so look at this. You can see that I have the angle iron attached now, right next to the other slide. And uh, now I'm just going to do the other side with this angle iron. The only thing that's different is to maximize space, I have to do it kind of in between the rivet. And to do that, I'm going to use this spacer to lift it up to make sure that it's even with this one. So. Just gonna make it even here with this guy. It's kind of just <laughs> a random piece that I had, but actually, what ended up happening was I ended up using the M8 bolts because it fit this piece specifically, um, and that's what I kind of used for all of these. So, anyways, I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna do the pilot holes, drill the holes, put the rib nuts in, and then drill it in through this little block to to raise this guy up. And yeah, you'll see some footage of that. Alright, so 
just checking in. I have three rivnuts in the bed of the truck. And again, I'm gonna use these little blocks to raise it up. I'm gonna connect the ankle iron to it. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be a good one. Also, I didn't hit the gas tank, so it's a success in my eyes. Right. So, as you can see, both of the tracks are in, and all that really is left is to install the heavy duty slides. So, that's kind of the next plan. This is the, the dry fitting of the slides, and so far, so good. I mean, We'll, we'll see. I don't know. I need to I need to attach the slide to the slotted angle iron, and then from there I'm going to test out the slide, and make sure it functions properly, which it should. And then once the slides are fitted in place, then I can add the the wood to the slides. So uh, I guess right now just stay tuned, and I'll take footage of this. It's uh it's really simple. It's basically just finding uh finding where you can actually attach the the little nuts that they give you. Um, what's nice about the slotted angle iron is there's tons of holes and options. So yeah, it's pre-cut and there's a small chance that it might not actually work, but I'm not super worried about that. Um, at the end of the day, like there's options. So I can uh, kind of finagle with it a little bit to make sure it fits properly. But anyways, so far I'm kind of pretty happy about this. And again, I'm hoping that the piece of wood fits in here. If not, I'll just have to buy another one and suck it up. But Oh well, I'd rather use the material I have than, than buy new stuff because three quarter inch birch is uh, pretty expensive. It's like $87 per sheet of plywood. So anyways, stay tuned for me to connect these to the slotted angle iron. It's probably the hardest part of the process. It's just so finicky. Think there's gonna be any more holes so step number one <laughs> not really though this is step number like 500 but uh both rails are in both heavy duty slides are in uh one thing is i only was able to get one connection point in the back or sorry in the front and two in the back uh, none in the middle so these are even which is good um but like kind of like i said the slotted angle iron is nice but sometimes it just doesn't work out. So I'm not sure if I should worry about that, if there's gonna be a lot of flex in here. I mean, it seems pretty sturdy. Um, but here you can see I'm pulling it out. There's one side, here's the other. You push down, you pull it. And uh, as you can see, there's the slide. It's gonna come up all the way to there. And um, all I have to do now is fit the piece of wood in between and drill it in, and hopefully it works. Close enough construction strikes again. This board is uh, too wide for the tracks, but good news is the tracks are wide enough for the cooler and the other things I intend to put in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another whack at cutting this thing um, with the circular saw. So we're going to go ahead and see how that goes. I'll take some footage of that, but I'm going to cut it, I'm going to throw it in, and, and hopefully it all fits in perfectly. So I forgot to hit record. Here we are drilling in here. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you wanna get up there. Okay. All right, 
hey, what's up? So, close enough construction, strikes again. Uh, classic, no straight cuts lead to imperfect designs. And um, what we're about to do is use the good old Black & Decker jigsaw. And we're gonna cut off the back corner because when we bring it back, it's running into the, the back of the slide. So we're just gonna take off a little bit of a corner and hopefully we don't have to take this out and make another cut. So close enough construction. <laughs> Okay, what's up everybody? So, hey, whatever it's worth, I'm done. <laughs> I uh, got the both slides in and they are both functioning. Uh, and actually uh, I tested it out because the cooler is going to be sitting here. But um, yeah, essentially, if you can see, I've got two pieces of black wood in here, um, or two slides with black wood. And, um, I'm going to set the camera down and show you how they both function together. Uh, this was kind of a pain in the ass because I kept on having to shave off a little bit of uh, extra width because it was too wide and it's still kind of catching a little bit, but I don't know, it's functioning just the way I need it to, so I'm hoping that it's, it's all good, but I'm going to set the camera down and show you how it works. All right, so first things first. Let me show you the new slide. Here it is. Cooler is right here. You can access it, do whatever you need to. Um, I mean, hey, this is for the cooler. This is for whatever else. At some point I may build it out more because right now it's just a single piece of wood. Uh, maybe I'll build a little box or something. I don't know, but uh, basically just testing it out and trying to Get it to function properly. Which it is. What's up everybody? So that was the video. If you did like the video and you like projects like this and me showing you how I kind of go through the process of uh, really mastering close enough construction, uh, you know, like the video, share it and comment below. Let me know what you think. But uh, yeah, bike slide is looking good and other storage slide is looking good as well. So here we go. Done and done. <laughs>